Hey guys, so I ran into a small problem the other day with space. My hard drive only had about 20 gigabytes left and that was you know, incredibly insignificant for me. So I was looking for some easy, quick ways to find a pretty significant amount of space on my computer without having to delete my movie collection or my music or anything that is of importance to me. So I found a very quick and easy thing to do that tends to get people a lot of space. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Activity Monitor, which everyone has. Um, it's in your Applications Utilities folder. And so it shows you a lot of basic things for the computer or the insides of the computer. So we're going to look at disk usage. So the other day I only had uh, 20 gigabytes left. Now you can say I have 74 uh, after using my tip that I'm about to show you. Um, and we're going to watch this after I do it and see if it goes up even more. So what happens with people is when people download from the internet or download anything from an email it goes into your downloads folder okay and then when you use that document let's say on my so on my on my school uh, thing here if I downloaded this it would open here like on Chrome or, or whatever you use and you would open it up and then you would either delete it or you would print it or you would save it or whatever you have to do and it would still save a base file in your downloads folder. So you can see here, um, I have one, two, th four of them. I have four of them in my downloads folder, and clearly, I don't, I don't, technically, I don't need any of them because I can always open it up uh, from the internet. But over a long period of time, what happens is that your downloads folder just builds up this junk, tons and tons of junk. And if it's movies and if it's, you know, big, big files, um, eventually it'll be worth a very significant amount of space. So the best tip I can give you for the quickest way is basically just to look through your downloads folder, um, take out anything you need, move it to the desktop if you want something. So if I wanted this movie, if I didn't have it anywhere else, I do have it, so I'm not going to do it. Um, and then once you get down to the bare minimum, basically you're just going to take it and you're going to delete the whole folder. That's after you took out the important files. Don't get mad at me if you delete something. And you can see, so I have 73.93 right now that is um, uh, free. And now after I empty that trash, goes up to 76.9. And like I said, I just set this up. So this is only from, you know, four to five days worth of downloading things from the Internet, especially if you're busy, if you're in school, if, you're, if you have a, a, a job. Um, you're going to be downloading the same things from the net very often, and the, the same thing is going to happen over and over again. It's going to build up in that downloads folder because people are too lazy to go in there and delete it every time, or you don't have the time. And so the, the best thing to do is go in your downloads folder, see what you need, take that out, and delete everything else. And most of the time, I guarantee you, you will get between 50 to 100 gigabytes of free space from that depending on if you are if you you know do that often most people do not do that so I've seen three other people do that trick that I told and we got an average about 70 gigabytes of, of uh, space from that so try it out and let me know what happens